Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. In the video today, I'm gonna to be going over some helpful tips for using an SD card with your Samsung Galaxy. Now, the first thing we're gonna go over is how to install the memory card. Then I'll show you how to change your settings in your camera so that every time you take a picture, they will be saved to the memory card and not your internal storage. After that, we will go over how to move pictures and videos from your internal storage over to the SD card. Finally, we will end the video showing you how to back up all of your data to a micro SD card. Now, before we get started, I just wanna show you the memory card I'll be using. It's a 256 gig Samsung memory card. And I wanna make an important note to you to not use cheap memory cards. Cheap memory cards can slow down your phone and potentially cause your phone to glitch. So I highly, highly recommend you to use a Samsung branded memory card or SanDisk. So Samsung, SanDisk, or PNY, those are three of the most popular brands who make good quality memory cards. Um, and you wanna get a class three or higher to make sure that it's fast enough to support your phone. If you buy a cheap memory card that's a no-name, you run the risk of messing up your phone. I will have a link right here of where you can purchase this memory card as well as a few others. So check out that link if you are in the market for an SD card. Without further ado, let's jump right in. So on the S A13, you'll find memory card slot on the left side. You're gonna use the SIM tool that it comes in the box of the phone to take out the memory card slot. Just put it in the hole and push. And we're gonna take our memory card and just put it in here. Put the tray back in. And you wanna make sure that memory card is in nice and plush before you put it in. There you go. So give it a second, and then you'll want to swipe down from the top of the screen, and you should see a pop-up that'll say SD card inserted. That's how you know it was inserted successfully. Now, now that our memory card is installed, the next thing we'll want to do is go to the camera. And once in the camera, we're going to take a picture. Okay, and then we'll need to go to the settings in the upper left corner. As we swipe up, you'll wanna to go to storage location and switch it to SD. And once you've made that switch, when you take a picture, it's gonna save now to the memory card and not to the internal storage of the phone. This will help to free up space for your apps. Now, we're gonna to go to our, to our gallery. We're gonna swipe up, go to the gallery, and you'll see a few things. So you'll have a camera folder, and then you'll have a camera folder that has a little memory card icon in the picture in the bottom left corner. This is how we know this is the folder for the memory card, okay? Every picture you take going forward, pictures and video are gonna be saved to this folder, not your original camera folder, okay? So making that distinction so you'll know why you have two camera folders. This is the original camera folder, which is the one we used before there was a memory card inserted. And now we have this new camera folder and that's where it's gonna store all the new pictures and videos that we take. Now. The next thing I wanna go over is how to move your files from the internal storage of the phone to the micro SD card. This will help you to free up a lot of space that again, you'll wanna save for apps and for the operating system. So I'm gonna to go to my camera folder and right now I have 13 pictures in here and I wanna move all these pictures over to the memory card. So I have uh, 12 pictures and one video actually. So what you'll wanna do is hold down on just one picture. And when you hold on one, it's gonna give you the all option in the left corner. 
we're going to tap on the all option that will select all the pictures then we're going to tap on the more button in the bottom right corner and we're going to select move to album we're going to select that option and then it will take us to our album page that will show all the different folders or albums on the phone and make sure you look at the camera folder that has the little memory card icon in the bottom left corner, which is this one. I'm gonna tap and it's gonna move all those pictures over to that memory card folder, okay? Now, when we go back, you're only gonna have one camera folder. Watch this, let's go back. See, now we only have one camera folder. You're probably saying, why do we only have one? Well. When you empty a folder, it disappears. So we had a camera folder that was for pictures taken on the internal storage. And now that we've moved all those pictures over to our memory card camera folder, our other folder has gone away. So this helps to cut down the confusion of having multiple folders. We just move everything over to the memory card and now that's where you'll find all your main pictures, okay? So that is the process of moving pictures and videos over to the memory card. Now, some of you may have multiple folders on your phone. And so just go into each folder, select one picture, hit the all button, and then move them all over to the memory card. And that will free up more space on your phone. Okay, and our final tip is how to back up all of your data to that memory card as well. So to do this, you'll need to go to the Samsung Smart Switch app, which we have right here. If you don't have this app, no problem. I'm gonna show you how to get it, it's super easy. We're gonna swipe down from the top of the screen. In the upper right corner, you'll find a little wheel. Tap on the wheel. And we'll need to swipe up and go to the option Accounts and Backup. And then you're gonna to go to bring data from old device. Now, when you tap on that menu option, it actually takes you right to the Samsung Smart Switch app. Meaning if you don't have that on your phone, it will begin to download automatically. So that's just an important thing to know. Okay, next we're gonna come to the upper right corner and you'll see a little icon. It's a little memory card icon right here tap on the icon and we have an option that says back up to and then SD card. So I'm going to tap SD card and it's going to say back up your phone. Your previous backup will be replaced. Yes. I'm going to tap back up and now it's going to begin to back up everything that's on my phone. Now at this moment in time, I don't have a lot. I have about 1.4 gigs of data and it's telling me here it's only gonna take about two minutes. So that's perfect, okay? Um, you can also have it just back up your accounts, calls, contacts, and messages if you select this option. Um, I wanna do everything. I'm gonna hit next, press okay. Um, you can sign into your Samsung account if you choose. You don't have to, you can just skip that and here we go, it's now initiated the backup and it's gonna back up everything that's on my phone to the SD card. Now I would recommend for you guys to back up your data at least once a month, just in case um, it's always good to have a backup of everything on your phone, all right? Especially if the phone begins to glitch, at least you have that backup that you can always put on another phone, another Samsung phone, simply by taking the memory card out of this phone and putting it into a new phone, going into the Samsung Smart Switch app and then selecting to restore from your backup. All right, so this has been our video on helpful tips for using an SD card with the Samsung Galaxy A13. One last important thing to note, uh, some of you may have come to watch this video because you were trying to transfer your apps to the SD card. And I wanna just clear up any confusion on this. Um, Samsung does not allow you to do that anymore. It is blocked in the settings. 
and you would have to do major modifications to your phone in order to be able to transfer apps to the SD card. So I would say rather than trying to transfer your apps, just make sure you move all of your pictures and your videos over to the SD card that will free up a ton of space and you should have plenty of room for your apps. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Do me a favor, hit that like button if it was helpful. And if you're not already a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Also, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you found the video helpful. I always love to hear your feedback and it helps to influence future videos that we do. If a lot of people leave positive comments, then we know this is a video people wanna see and we will produce it for other phones. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.